What is going on, lovely people of the internet? Um, we're back with another episode of Black Ops 1 Campaign. And last time we left off, we were Hudson and we were interrogating some guy and we got stuck and we started parkouring. Let's see what stupid stuff we're going to do this time. said that Clark was insane. Paranoid. Fixated with numbers. Clark created Nova 6. A nerve toxin that can go through a body and set. Dragovich is second in command. Kravchenko. Tested in Vietnam. On them? On us? On his own? <laughs> he doesn't care. My father was a musician in Stalingrad. During the German occupation, the sound of his violin filled the air with magnificent music. Korsakov, Stasov, many of the great nationalist composers. To my countrymen, it was a symbol of hope. To the Germans, it was a symbol of defiance. Even now, his music still haunts me. The Nazi slit his throat while he slept. Collaborating with any Nazi is a betrayal, a betrayal against all of Mother Russia. Dragovich, Kreshenko were not troubled by such matters. They look only to advance their own interests and agendas. Glasses are smeared. Everything is loaded. They are waiting. Victor, it is time. Yes, Dimitri. Time to hunt down the last remnants of the fascist Reich. Nevsky, grab the gear. We are moving out. The men and I have fought through the most bitter of winters on the Eastern Front. We were known strangers to cold, but even now. The blood in my veins chills when I think back to the events of that day. Far, far from home. Ah! The hero of Berlin graces us with his presence. Have you not tired of battle, Reznov? As long as Mother Russia has enemies, I will answer her call. Put aside your petty rivalry, Kravchenko. Captain Reznov will do as he is told. We are here for one German, and one German only, Dr. Friedrich Steiner. This man has offered his cooperation to our cause. He is not to be harmed. Disobey this order, and you will be shot. What happened in Stalingrad, between you and Dragovich? When the German occupation began, he and his lapdog, Krachenko, left my men and I hopelessly outnumbered. Promises of reinforcements were made. Made, but not kept. Dragovich and Krachenko are opportunists, manipulators. They are not to be trusted, Dmitry. 
Dmitri Petrenko was one of the bravest men I have ever known. He fought by my side from the siege of Stalingrad to the fall of Berlin. The wounds he sustained ensuring our victory should have earned him a hero's welcome to Russia. But Stalin had little need for heroes. The German must not be harmed. We need Steiner alive. Now move, all of you. Let's go. It is good to fight for your side once more. Yes, my friend. One final victory. Search every corner of this camp. Only stand to be spared. Ura!
cowards will die. As far away from the battlefield as possible. After this mission, do you think we will go home? I hope so, Dimitri. I hope so. Why is there Glag in here? As I looked into the German's eyes, I saw all the evil that the fascist Reich is still burning strong. No. At that moment, every fiber of my being yearned to put an end to his wretched life. But I was a soldier then. I still believed in orders. What is here that is so important? General Dragovic wishes to make a name for himself. He believes this outpost houses something of great value to the motherland. Dragovic and Steiner are talking like old friends. <coughs> I do not like this, Reznov. You must no, hurry. There are Germans who would soon as be destroyed and captured. You assured me there would be no problems. I cannot control the actions of the SS, General Dragovic. They are sworn to defend the right till their last breath. Noble, but futile. Dravchenko, finish up here. Reznov, you and your men will lead the way. Yes, sir! Petrenko, Vikarev, Nevsky, Bolov! We are moving out! Steiner, tell me more about your association with the Gift Eager Stern Project. In 43, the Fuhrer realized the Allies could not be held back for much longer. We begin to look for more unconventional solutions. Throughout the war, my own research was focused on chemical weapons. 
It was meticulous and frustrating work. However, what we finally developed was a weapon more effective than we had ever dared to imagine. The weapon now housed within this vessel. Nova 6. and their bombers crippled the ship. Locked in the ice, we tried to salvage what we could, but it was too late. Germany had surrendered, and a Russian flag flew over Berlin. The SS had orders to destroy the ship if we were attacked. Clearly, they failed. The explosives were never activated. This is it. Reznov, open the door. found what we were looking for. Nova 6. The German weapon of mass destruction now belonged to Mother Russia. Or so it seemed. Our victory was to be short-lived. Dragovich wanted to see the effects of the poison firsthand. It was also an opportunity to remove a thorn in his side. I had long known of their distrust. What kind of men they were. It was a betrayal. I should have foreseen. Dragovich, Kroshenko, and Steiner scattered like rats, leaving me to contend with the British. British commandos assaulting our positions! No! Find our way out! vessel into the depths of hell. We cannot let either side possess this terrible weapon.
from falling into the hands of the British. But I was a fool to think that the threat was over. It was only after I was captured and sent to Vokuda that I learned of Dragovich's true... Why do I keep going to that... He will die before he gives up on Nova Six. Mason, listen to me. We are running out of time, my friend. Can you trust your leaders to destroy it? Or do you think they will use it? The flag may be different, but the methods are the same. They will use you as they used me. You must decide. Decide what you think is worth fighting for. Dragovich, Kravchenko, Stein. These men must die. Hudson's mission at Kowloon was accomplished. He had discovered Dragovich's endgame, Nova 6. The nerve toxin so deadly that if exposed, you'd be dead before you hit the floor. Dragovich's weapon. Go back to Vietnam, Mason. Was Victor Reznov still with you after you escaped from the MACD compound? <sighs> Reznov was with me the whole time. Are you sure? North. We went north. Viet Cong. We were shut down, and Reznov even survived that. Dragovich's lapdog Krepchenko was there. He knew we were coming. Alright guys, we're going to have to leave that there. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, yeah, we got a little knowledge in uh, Reznov's past. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. But yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Questions, comments, concerns, leave it down in the comment section down below. New to my channel and you want to consider subscribing today. And you'll get to see future awesome uploads. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys later. Peace.